I'm not much of a gamer. Well, when I was younger, I was really into Mega Man Battle Network 3 on this Game Boy Advance SP. Then I transitioned into online gaming with Rumble Fighter, then League of Legends, which I was addicted to for a period of time. I enjoy classic games a lot. For example, I love playing Monopoly. The car is my favorite piece. I like games where there's strategy involved, where you're not guaranteed to win, but with each turn, you're making decisions that can bring you closer to success. Like, recently, my friend she introduced me to this game called Relationship. Psych! About two years ago, I really got into playing chess, which this video is about. Now wait, I know that there's a lot of misconceptions that makes chess seem like it's boring, difficult, and a waste of time. But while it may seem like it from the outside looking in, I think it's one of the most fascinating games that people should try to at least understand how to play. Why? Well, while it does require a certain level of understanding to actually be good at the game, it also requires you to think in ways that can be beneficial and sharpening abilities that we use in everyday life. In chess, every move made by your opponent becomes an obstacle. A problem that you need to overcome to be victorious. With every turn, you make decisions on which piece to move and where, which requires you to be able to think several steps ahead and decide on the best possible move. Now this transitions into everyday life, where we weigh our options and make choices that would best result in our desired outcome. some interesting facts about chess. After each player makes two moves, there are 72,084 different game variations. After the third, over 9 million. The fourth, 288 billion plus. There are more possible games of chess than there are atoms in the observable universe. I find it quite captivating, the vast array of possibilities that lie within the game. Which means that there are often opportunities while playing where others may think there isn't. No life, life is either a day and adventure or nothing at all. Which, to me, is what creativity in chess embodies. Because moves that are most considered brilliant or interesting are the ones that are not obvious checks or captures. Check. With chess, there's going to be mistakes and tons of losses. And with creativity and risk-taking comes inevitable failures. But these are what are important for growth and learning to become better. You see, the lessons learned from losing in chess are quite similar and applicable for success in life, where we learn how to accept defeats and handle losses constructively by assessing our mistakes so that improvements can be made. Now, if, if you are interested in playing chess, there are several places online where you can. For example, I use spackchess.com because 1. I like the graphics and 2. Playing is free and you get to with other people around the world. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment letting me know what you think. And of course, subscribe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.